Hi, I'm Ben with Formation Creation. Right now I'm going to show you just how easy it is to install our Formation Creation glass fire kits with just three simple steps. Before we start, take the small damper clamp and attach it to your open damper to conform with ventilation safety regulations. Step 1. You need to connect your HD burner to the gas outlet located in your firebox. To do this, find your connector and remove the two brass 90s from the aluminum tube. Use pipe dope or plumber's putty on the threads of both the gas outlet in your firebox and the gas inlet of the HD burner. This will ensure an airtight seal. Then affix your brass 90s to the HD burner and the gas outlet in your firebox. Use a wrench to make sure the connection is nice and snug. Next, bend your aluminum connector to your desired U shape. Be careful not to kink the tube by overbending in one spot. Both male fittings on the brass 90s should be pointing the same direction. The length of each side of the U-shaped tube can vary in length depending on your preference of how far forward or back in your firebox you would like to situate the flame. Do not use any plumber's putty, tape, or pipe dope on these brass connections as the flared fittings are designed to provide a tight seal. Tighten up the fittings with a wrench to ensure a secure, tight seal. Step 2. Check for leaks using soapy water. This is to ensure your safety. Liberally apply the solution to each connection. Before turning on the gas, make sure no flame, spark, or heat sources are near you that might inadvertently ignite the gas. Open up the gas valve and look for bubbles on each of the soapy connections. After checking, immediately turn the gas back off to minimize gas leakage. If there was any leakage, repair the connection and check again. Allow plenty of time for the gas emitted from your burner to dissipate as you wipe up the soapy mess. In step number three, we're going to use our lava rock and glass medium to make a beautiful foundation for your firebox. The quantity of lava rock and crushed glass depends on the size of the unit you ordered. This demonstration is being done in an oversized testing unit, so the medium will not be spread to the side walls as it will be in your firebox. Spread the lava granule foundation around evenly. The burner cradle should extend about one half inch above the surface of the lava rock to leave room for the glass covering layer. Level out the surface and cover components like the aluminum connector. Fill the HD burner with lava rock. Fill partially if you want to top it off with glass, or fill completely to leave an exposed line of lava rock. Though unnecessary, leaving the line of lava rock exposed might be preferable to avoid soot accumulation on the glass at the flame location. Next, spread the crushed glass over the lava granule bed. In this case, I am using a personal favorite, Arctic Blue Ultra Reflective. Use caution while handling and spreading the glass. It is genuine tempered glass and can have sharp edges or shards in the mix. Reckless handling might result in small cuts or slivers. Spread the glass around so that the surface is even. If you encounter any pieces that are stuck together, poke them with a hand tool and they will easily crumble apart. You're done! Let's light it up! Use a match or lighter and place the open flame directly above the burner. Slowly open the gas valve, allowing a few seconds for the air to leave the gas line. You can adjust the valve to your desired flame height. Congratulations! This new addition to your home will bring warmth and stunning beauty to your everyday life. <laughs>